Okay, and why are we all here? We're here because money isn't being spent properly. We're here because our taxes are going to fund nuclear weapons and wars in countries where we have no business going. We're here because we know that those guys at the Celtic Manor, when they meet on Thursday and Friday, are not concerned about us. They're not concerned about the person who hasn't got enough money to go around. More like me. They're not concerned about the 500,000 people in the UK who had to use food banks last year. Like no, they're concerned about nuclear weapons and warfare. And why? Because war is a very good way of making money. It's a vile way of making money, and we don't want anything to do with it, do we? No! So let's think about it. Let's think about why we're here. Think about what people are doing in our name. Let's think for Libya. Libya, which has been torn to shreds with our money, our hard-earned money. Poor Libya. Let's think about Afghanistan where tens, hundreds of thousands of innocent civilians, men, women, children, have been slaughtered and they don't even know what the war's about. And there is never an excuse to kill a child. Never. And they're killing children in Gaza, they're killing children in Afghanistan. We've got Ukraine simmering on the horizon. And why? Could it be because NATO has put nuclear-armed missiles on all the borders of Russia? Could it be that NATO walks all over the EU and as soon as a nation joins the EU, it gets military warfare on its doorstep? Could it be that across Latvia, Lithuania, all the Balkan states, and now in the Ukraine, with all these missiles pointing at Russia, that Russia's got a right to get a bit twitchy about it. And it's not being done in our name. It's being done by those guys in Colditz, or whatever you want to call it, on the hill. I've seen some of what's on their agenda. They want to put hundreds of thousands more troops in Poland, ready for mass action on Russia. This is in writing. They're planning on any amount of laws to be passed so that we can be legally aggressive to Russia. And what has Russia done to us? Okay? I'm not for anyone, but I'm against the way our money is spent. I'm against death and destruction, and I want them to rethink their aggressive policies and start putting our money to good use, to help with welfare, to help with peace building, to help with making everyone's lives better. Yeah. Yeah.